the fact that it happened on such a big scale and everybody appreciated it so much and, yeah. and we were able to switch from acapella to beats with no no hindrances or anything like exactly. that. That was it was kind of impressive to see just watch from home. Yeah. You know Shout outs to Lush One and uh D Rec and Matt Hills and all the other cats. Shout out to MERS. Yeah, really Merz yeah. for uh, paid dues. Real talk. MERS and, I was about and to Hills say. Are, were integral in kind of making that thing happen. And That's then really up. like once the people like, you know, MERS get behind what we're doing, then you have like a cage and we're in an, you know what I mean? And there's yeah, I've seen that five thousand people watching us. That's what happens. Like exactly. all it takes is like those dudes to kind of take interest and then that's what happens and right now is it's an interesting time because it's happening right now where people are taking interest so you're going to see i think more of that kind of that's larger scale stuff over the and next maybe year. more battles on beat 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 format too somewhere. you know what uh at paid dudes like events people are always going to be looking for an edge so yeah you know what the crazy thing is like uh these kids uh no coast in the middle of the country they're starting to do this thing uh written battles over beats so uh, I think they're gonna run that for the first time. We'll see how that goes. That's yeah. what's up. I'm skeptical. I won't lie, but <laughs> we'll see. It's been happening since Scribble Jam, anyways, right? No, that's no doubt. Up. Yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 the the truth. I mean, freestyle, you know, with finger quotes on it for, for all of those major battles. You know, what I mean, a lot yeah. of that stuff had to be written, and you know that now when you watch the difference between someone actually freestyling it, and that's what this kind of whole battle stuff has brought to people and brought to the forefront. Real talk. All right, so I'm gonna get into another question. I asked Awkward's this at paid dues, and uh, his answer was kind of cool. It was basically his answer. I'll tell you in a second after I ask it. The question was. How important is who wins the grind time battle? Because, you know, the judging is up left up to five people, but uh, sometimes there's some real close ones, you know. Yeah, How well, important is the actual outcome? Based, based on the nature of, of how grind time and YouTube is already, it's already, it's already in the hands of the viewer to judge it for themselves anyways. And I think what a lot of the top dudes are doing are just completely abandoning the judge system and letting the internet promo. just talk it out, you know. And, and promo is is kind of wise. I mean, some people are, are in it for the stats and are in it for, you know, I beat this guy, I beat this guy. But it's not really about your opponent, really. It's how well you do. There can might as well be nobody in front of you. It's how yeah. well you rap at the end yeah. of the day and yeah. how much buzz you're going to attract from it. Right, so Any, it is what you make it, really. Any thoughts what else? Time? Yeah, no, totally. And I think, uh, I think that... It, when it comes down to it, being someone who's been in a lot of like controversial battles either way, both battles that people, Word. everybody said I should have won Amazing. and I lost, Wait, and everybody dope battles as well. And, and <laughs> you know say. what? Uh, the judging element really adds a lot. You know what I mean? Like, at what point does it stop being a competition and start just being a performance? Is the question. And I think when when it comes down to like these like the pay dues situation, you, of course you have to have a judgment, you know what I mean? Because you have like a four man kind yeah. of like tournament situation. True. And that's really cool. I think that we wouldn't have to judge in regular battles if we did more of that kind of stuff. If there was more like defining moments where, you know, you had like the best kind of square off in situations like that, like at least once or twice a year, then it wouldn't matter so much if they judged every battle to battle. But when when it's close it's always going to be disputable and and in the end you're even when 99 percent of the people think someone won a battle there's still going to be like one percent of people that True. think that it, it someone got robbed or whatever and it's just it's it's all yeah, I mean, when, you, when you're watching something on a scale where hundreds of thousands of people are watching this you know what i mean it's like how are you going to put it all on five people that were there and possibly yeah, drunk so I'll, and I'll basically tell y'all what mm -hmm. awkward told me and I kind of agreed he was like as long as you don't get bodied it's the views that matters yeah. so you know the exposure and uh, I think uh, especially a I could say that for everyone in this room you guys have definitely used that exposure into cranking out some dope music so that's, that's basically what it's about man. absolutely and, uh, yeah. used it to your advantage and grind time's advantage so it's yeah, dope, man, dope, dope format yeah ultimate <laughs> ultimate props to, to grind time because they definitely gave us all a, a much bigger platform than we had just in our respective scenes and stuff and just put our name out there to people that had never ever find out about us otherwise you yeah, know i get kids on, on facebook that contact me from sweden just yeah. to talk about what they had for lunch yeah, for real. and that's awesome i mean don't do that all the time but <laughs> i hear you man all right so we're gonna get into a dope song from mr dirtbag dan off his recent Mixtape produced by Skylar G. Yeah, yeah. Who, Skylar, who, who, who will be on this show next week, by the way. Oh, Check nice. that out. Work, but uh, as well, we're going to get into this track and be back with more with uh, Dirtbag, Caustic, and the rest of the 
grind time, talented individuals. Yeah, make noise. We all here. Let's go. Noise. 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 I'm joined by many talented grind type MCs right now in the house. Too many to name, but uh, we got Caustic about to make a quick announcement of an uh, upcoming event. What's up? Pat? Yeah, yeah. I uh, just want to let the Bay Area know. I know it's been a while since we've had some real, some real strong acapella battles in the Bay Area, but uh, you know, in uh, in the interim of MOB's absence, I'd like to let everybody know about uh, assault and battling Oakland riots happening at the Metro in Oakland on July 30th. This is going to be some major stuff for the Bay Area. Yeah. Uh, freestyle battles, acapella battles, and uh, a lot of liquor and good times and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Word. I'd also just like to give a shout out to uh, to Reverse Live, listening from home, who uh, couldn't get a ride here tonight. Word. Also shout outs to Gambit, who also couldn't make shout it. Shout out to Got Gambit. Some... Shout, out to, uh, shout out to Lush. Shout, shout out to uh, San Jose in uh, Union City and Word. Oakland and Frisco and all you cats out there listening right now. Word and uh, everyone on uh, Grind Time Now tuned in. And Grind Time Now. What's up? And you can, uh, uh, this is Dirtbag Dan, by the way. Hi. Yeah. You can catch me in uh, uh, Sweden. Stockholm, Sweden next weekend uh, uh, if you're out there. <laughs> if you happen to be listening. Dirtbag <laughs> 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 Dan versus Henry Bowers. Yeah, I was a bounty Henry Bowers. <laughs> happening in a Sweden <laughs> near you. There we go. All the listeners from Sweden go. So we're going to get into our next portion of the interview. We got Joe Cutter. And Pariah coming up next. We're gonna get into uh, a dope track from Kill Division, which includes Joe Cutter. This hey. one's Puppy Woo. Mill. Let's the opposite. Go. Puppy Mill. Right now, yeah. no, we all <laughs>